All right, hello and welcome to another tutorial in the basic 3ds Max design 2014 series. Um, so this time we're just going to do some super simple keyframe animation, uh, some really basic stuff just to understand how to do it. Okay, so let's say we want to just make a ball bounce, like a really just a really crude animation. All right, so we'll make a sphere and let's move it up to the plane the grid plane and throw in a, pl a uh, plane to make it bounce off and I have it on a million <laughs> a million segments okay so here we are just with our ball now we're not actually gonna do we're not actually gonna apply any real physics here and have it bounce we're, I'm just showing you how to program the keyframe animation to to actually get a ball to look like it's bouncing. We're not going to have it actually bounce. No gravity or anything like that in this video. Okay, so let's start it from here. So what we're doing is essentially programming keys on this time slider. So the default is 100 frames, and we're just going to stay within the 100 frame um, limit right now just because it's going to be super simple. Okay, so in order to set a key at all, you have to um, unlock it so that you can actually so you don't accidentally set keys when you're modeling. So press set key. This is kind of counterintuitive. They could have done this a little bit better. But you press the little set key button down, and then when you actually want to press set a key, you press the key button. So it's kind of confusing because you have to unlock the ability to set a key. So it can be a little misleading. Anyway, so let's start out with it right here. So now that we have, we're on frame one, make sure you're on frame zero actually. And you've got your set key button down in red and then just press set key. So now that's gonna keep that, that, that we kind of just stamped that in time. That's the first key that we have. So let's say we're gonna go to meh, 20 frames. So let's have it hit the ground at 20 frames. So just drag it down to the ground and um, we can then again press the key button set that key so now we've just made an animation super simple but it's an animation so let's do just for fun just to just to illustrate that you can also just program a scale uh, changing change of scale in an object let's let's quickly um, key that in so I'm just gonna change the scale pop it down make it look kinda like it had a little bit of inertia. Okay, so I just set that key. So now it's like boing, getting compressed and slightly lifting up. Now it's not lifting up the ground. It was just through the ground before. Nah, whatever. We're not going to worry about that detail. And then make it come up back to normal a few frames later. Just by eye, sort of normal. And we can program that key again. And then let's just have it bounce maybe just like almost as high up, up in like 30, it was just like 37 frames, whatever. Okay, so setting that key. So now we've programmed a full bounce. So you could almost play that in a, if you made it symmetrical, you could have, you could play that in an infinite loop and it would fit, fit well together. So that's how you program basic keys in 3ds Max. All right, thank you for watching. <laughs>